we are docked next to the Mardi Gras. Look at that, look at that. You see all those balconies? I mean, balcony, 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 balcony. It's nice. Well, I probably will never get to sail in Mardi Gras, but we do have the Jubilee coming to Galveston next year, and I'm going to sail that one for my birthday. Yes, I am. So I'll sail it when it's pretty, pretty new. It won't even have been here a year yet. We are here in the Cozumel. Um, we haven't eaten breakfast yet, so we're gonna go down and eat breakfast, and then we're gonna head on out. And remember, we're going to Playa Mia today. Um, I did not book this excursion with Carnival, and I'll walk you through everything that I did to get it. But Carnival didn't have Playa Mia. My son loves Playa Mia, so I just booked it separately. And I'll tell you some things that you need to watch out for when you book. Um, not when you don't book from a cruise ship because there are some technicalities and you can get left and all that kind of stuff so i'll talk about some of the things you need to pay attention to a little bit later after breakfast <laughs> okay dreamers we made it through the marketplace in cozumel and what you have to do when you get the excursion i did and you don't pay for it there you gotta walk out past all those people past the fountains as you can see the fountains behind me and then you just walk all the way out here. We're gonna to go to the right, we're gonna to go to Hard Rock. And that is where we will find our um, excursion. We paid for a taxi ride and the excursion. So if you did not pay for the taxi ride, you could just get a taxi on the inside and go. But I paid for the taxi ride. So we're gonna cross the street and then go left. So we walk and walk and walk and we're coming up to where the excursion is. But if you don't wanna walk down here, you could actually catch a taxi, but the walk isn't that far. But I suggest if you um, have a, you know, you need help or you, yeah, knee problems or anything, catch a taxi, don't do the walk, or just buy your ticket at the, you know, from Carnival. But we made it, we're here. Meeting point, meeting point, babe. Yeah. Meeting point, meeting point, meeting point. This is where we meet, guys. This is actually the second spot. See, it says Playa Mia, that's what we have. I have to get my stuff out. Okay, we made it. Um, so we come in, we get one wristband. Let me show you. We get this wristband to catch the taxi. And then there's another wristband that we need to get, but we have to show um, our thing at the our window. I think I gotta keep walking out of that. But see, this is what it looks like when you walk in. They used to have more shops open, but I guess hurricanes and COVID you know it's a little sparse in here right now but there used to be more things there's still some shops but there used to be more okay well here we go so the slides and the kids area i'll walk over there later oh, to the, the left and i think you there used to be a restaurant over there too not sure if it's still there or not because like i said they don't have everything that they had before um the package I bought doesn't include any food or drink, but I figured I wasn't gonna drink enough. So I brought cash so that if I want a couple drinks, I'll get it and I'll just eat when I get back on the ship. I ate a big breakfast before I left. So I guess we can sit anywhere because no one said anything was restricted. Okay, go out here in this water a little bit. It's hot out here. Okay, the water is cold. It's very, very cold. I'm sinking. Oh. Mm. Uh, Y'all see the uh, bouncy houses over there? That's where Robert went and disappeared to in the sea of children with the uh, <laughs> sea of children with the life jackets. You never know which one is yours. But anyway, it feels good out here. I really like the Pymia Beach Break. I didn't buy the um, any food or any drinks. I, I, uh, you know another cruise hack you can can't bring food off typically but typically you can bring beverages so sometimes i'll even put like an alcoholic beverage in my little metal cup that i bring around and i'll bring that out i didn't do that today um i just bought a bottle of water um with me so i have my water i'm pretty good i'm not buying an umbrella because i have my hat so i don't really need the umbrella to shade my face and I just put my sunscreen on and I'm good. And that way you can have a cheaper excursion. And lots of times if you buy the excursion when you get here, it is even cheaper than what I paid. I think I paid $85 for me and Robert. That included taxi to and from. You could have bought it without the taxi. You could have bought it with food and drink included, but I didn't do that today. But I think I'm gonna be pretty good and we'll have a lot, a lot of fun. That's Robert 
coming back from the slides. I guess he just did five times. So this is the uh, pool they have, another pool, it's a bigger pool. I didn't think about that coming over here. So they have a lot of different things that you can do. I'm gonna take you a little bit closer. We're headed out, but um, I wanted to walk you over here and show you some of these wonderful things. They have lockers for your clothes. See those lockers over there? Showers for the lockers. And they also have more of a, like a little kitty thing. See the kitty pool? Ooh. And I'm trying to walk you over here to the slide. That's the bar, I guess. Hmm. And these are the slides. They have two slides, a red and a blue slide. So I'm gonna walk you to the end of the slide so you can get a really good view of what the slide looks like. Robert did this about five times, I think. But it's hot out here and the clouds are changing. So we're thinking it's time to get out of here. But you see, that's the slide. Thank you.